I think that's uh, everybody in who's looking to get in. Okay, so I look, this is the majority uh, kind of live content and we'll take a couple of questions on Margaret at the end, okay? Michael, do you want to kick us off? Oh, yeah, thanks, uh, David. Hi, Mike, it's good to see you again. Morning, guys. How are you? All good? Good, thanks, yeah. Yeah, Mike, um, four tries in, in Twickenham last week, but there was probably the sense that you may have left a few opportunities behind you in terms of try scoring. Um, have you been, or what have been working on this week in terms of um, trying to be that bit more clinical? Um. Yeah, I mean, we'll take the four tries first and foremost. I think, uh, you know, every team comes out of a game thinking they should have scored an extra couple. So, um, but it was just the manner in, 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 in how we didn't didn't score them really, which was um, something that we've worked on. But um, all in all, it goes back to, you know, staying calm and being able to see the picture and make the right decision on the back of it. So um, it's very fixable. I think everything that went a little bit awry last week is, is fixable. Um, so... You know that's the, the 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 sign of this team at the moment is how quickly can we learn our lessons and 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 move on and and drive the team to where we want to go. But that's something that you you probably pride yourselves on in the sense that you know there were areas against France that didn't really go well, but you worked on it and fixed it for for the next game out. So you're kind of learning on the job, for want of a better phrase. Yeah, very much so. And it, you know, again, it's uh, it's it's the first time some of those guys went to Twickenham, so. To experience it all, the crowd was amazing. Um, so, uh, again, it was um, there's some very, very good performances, um, and also the confidence that we showed, the the pride that we played with was was huge to see. So, um, you know, it's just something that we've we're working on, and we'll continue to work on. And just a final question for me: Can I ask you about the selection of Blair Kinghorn at ten rather than Finn Russell? What sort of a different attacking threat that does he bring? Yeah, listen, I've watched some some footage on Blair and I think he's he's a fantastic player. I think um, you know, he's got a running game, he's very explosive, he's he's got a hell of a passing game. And um, you know, if he gets the time and space, his kicking game is exceptional too. He's got a really big boot, so um we'd like to think that we're not gonna give him that opportunity to sit back and play the game in a dinner suit. So um, you know, it's crucial that we, we do get after him, but as a rugby player, and um, I think what he'll do for that that Scotland team is 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 massive. So we need to, you know, he's a, he's a big threat for us. Good man, thanks. Thank I'll you. Tomorrow. Thanks very much. Boo. Anything else there from a live perspective, lads? Hey, like, how's it going? Good, thanks. Uh, can I ask about the the development attack in terms of? Um, maybe be less dependent on just the tens to, to kind of run everything. You've had loads of guys kind of popping up at, at first receiver. Has that been a, a kind of conscious thing to, to move towards that? Um, yeah, it's just, you know, every everybody's a ball player. Everybody's connected. Everybody's, you know, the attack is, is 15 players every single time we have the ball. So, you know, I'm, we, we're very comfortable, you know, the, 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 the progress Bundy's made, Gary Ringrose, Hugo Keenan, stepping in those positions. Um, it's, it's almost been seamless for them. So, um, yeah, it's just a, a way that we can play a quick game of rugby, play at the speed that we want to play, play the tempo we want to play with. Um, and ultimately, um, it gives Johnny or our tens an ability to take a breath sometimes. Um, and not be reliant on them all the time. And, and, and I think it's worked so far really, really well. But again, it's something that we'll obviously get better better at um, and the guys will become more and more comfortable the more we do it. You mentioned Hugo there. And like he's developed hugely at the kind of start of his test career. I think Peter Bryce home has a, a kind of cover in the backfield, doing all the hard work, which he obviously does. How encouraged have you been by him pushing his game to the next level with ball in hand? Yeah, I think the, the, the nice thing is is um, Mikey Lowry's been playing exceptionally well for Ulster and all of a sudden there's a bit of competition there um, with Jacob obviously not there um, because he's injured at the moment. So it's always nice to have that competition in the team and I think we've got that now, you know, with the centres, with the wings, with the back three. Um, and what it does is it really pushes individuals to go to another level and I think Hugo, who's an incredible um, professional of the game, understands the game, he's curious about what he what he wants to learn and how he wants to learn it. 
um, has, has taken that on, taken that challenge on. And, and like we saw last week, you know, he was exceptional. And just lastly, um, the, the forwards obviously are passing more than ever and seem to have embraced that side of the game, the decision-making side of the game. Um, what have you seen from, from that kind of uh, aspect of the game? Yeah, again, it's another area where we, where we need to develop even more. Um, but the majority of the time, the guys are very comfortable on the ball now, which is great, especially when the, the, these, um, uh, the line speed's coming hard at them. Um, there's still a few guys that, that struggle a little bit with it. But again, that's, that's work in progress. But, but you know, I'd also like to say that you know, our defence has been pretty impressive too. It's not just about the attack. You know, teams have only scored three tries against us in the whole competition. So, and one of those was an intercept in, in, in Wales. So... Um, you know, we've married both of them. It's not just our attack. It's it's very much so the uh, the same processes in our defence too. Go well, the weekend, thank you. Thanks very much. Hi, Mike. Um, can you just say that everyone come through the captain's room? How did that go? Everyone partake? Yeah, all good. Thanks. All uh, the sun's shining outside, so it's, it's St Patrick's weekend too. So it's all good. Very good. And tomorrow after the match, what what's your kind of uh, procedure? Is it different than normal? Does where will you go to watch the, the I presume you go to watch the France match um, in the stadium or is anything else set up? No, I think there's uh I think there's a, a dinner or something afterwards. Um I'm, I think Scotland might be staying over. So we'll have a dinner with them. Um and then we'll we'll see on the back of that really. So um and that's in the Aviva, is it? Yeah. Yeah, very good. Okay, thanks, best of luck for the weekend. Thank you.